the final question that I'm going to answer today is, I would very much like to know more in depth about how to navigate healing body image trauma and learning how to love my body and face again. My wounding in particular is connected to my skin and how it ties in with seeing myself in a loving and empowering way again. How does someone navigate the emotional, physical connection in their healing? Well, I think that process is different for everyone. But what I can share from my personal journey of healing is whenever I get really involved in an area of my body that I feel has been impacted by the trauma, and I bring a lot of loving attention and services and empowerment and investment into those parts of my body, I'm showing my body it's not about being perfect. It's about the love that I'm giving back to my body. I'm saying to my body, I see you. I see the battle wounds of what you survived. And I'm going to give you the very best life and opportunity that I can to express health. And in my sincere actions of loving kindness towards you, I am generating an unconditional love for you. If you saw pictures of me 10 years ago, I look like a battered woman. You know, that I had every reason to hate my body at that time. It was dying and it was a punching bag for many years. It wasn't about a level of perfection because I knew that's just not going to be, it's just not possible. What it's about is how curious can I be about what my body needs? What are the practices? What are the investments? What are, what are the healing approaches that get me directly involved with my body? When we make positive choices uh, that are proactive investments in ourselves, we just naturally feel more love towards ourselves because we're putting, our, we're putting the action behind the love. Speaking kind words about our body to, you know, we can put affirmations on the mirror. We can practicing mantras. We can use EFT tapping where we say, I forgive myself for the trauma that I have survived and I choose to invest in myself and my personal journey of empowerment. These are the subtle and proactive, like it's a subtle yet proactive mindset that allows for self-love to grow. And when we let go of an expectation or a destination, what happens is, is we're learning how to simply cultivate self-love at every step of our journey. And that's what we're really going for. You know, when we hate on our body, when we hate on our faces, chances are good most of that is discolored by the trauma and the abuse of our past. Like, we can't, it's, it's taking me my whole life to see myself clearly. Like, the, my, the programming that I had about how to see myself, it took me my whole life to get to whatever level of sanity that I have with how I perceive myself. Uh, physically that happened one day at a time it happened one step at a time and it took a lot of positive proactive choices to get there and so every time you take a positive proactive step to invest in yourself you're letting go of all the judgment that was placed on you so you can start to see how beautiful you already are right now radiating from the inside out and how your inner beauty and your inner self-love can guide you to very loving choices that can help your body radiate health and whatever level of beauty that you want to embody.